We'll get to your crafty cocktails in a second, but first, let's talk about balls. That's right, this video is sponsored by Manscaped, the best in men's below the waist grooming. The performance package 4.0 by Manscaped has arrived and it's gonna add some glitz to your bits. Inside this package, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, some performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold all your goodies. Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents, thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof, has a new multifunction on off switch, can engage travel lock and gives you the ability to turn on the 4000k LED spotlight for when you need a more precise shave. Now that you have the perfect haircut, look after the rest with Manscaped's liquid formulations. Use the Crop Reserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner to keep that below the waist freshness at even the hottest barbecue. Want to take your grooming game up a notch? Try Manscaped's Shears 2.0, a luxury nail grooming kit with nail cutters, tweezers and grooming scissors. So get 20% off of free shipping with the code TRYCHANNEL at manscaped.com. That's 20% off of free shipping at manscaped.com using the code TRYCHANNEL. It's smooth sack summer. Get on board or get left behind. We're trying craft cocktails. We're trying cocktails. Just this year, uh, I've been at a couple of occasions and events where people have had like these big bottles of pre-mix like margarita yeah. and like whiskey sour, and they've been pretty, pretty good. And I believe they were created during lockdown, almost like a kind of prohibition hooch peddlers type thing. I mean, when we were all like chronic at home, they were like, look guys, we will make them yeah. and then you can just buy them and then pour them. Once it's made and then you put it away and then take it back out, it's pre-made. They're really handy because then you yeah. don't have to like bring them with you and everything. You yeah. just kind of grab them and go. Ooh, smells really good. <gasps> a porn star! <laughs> oh, I love a porn star martini. I don't think I've even ever had a porn star martini before, so it's vodka, vanilla, and passion fruit. And normally you put Prosecco into it as well. That smells like exactly like a porn star martini. Nobody remembers the Maverick martini, but a cheeky name changed later, and boom, the most successful cocktail of the last two decades. I forgot that they did history okay. on the side. Yeah, it has nothing to do with porn stars. They just they named just it. Named they it. wanted it to be salacious. Cheers. Cheers. To two porn star martinis. Very tasty. It is fucking fantastic. It's divine. Oh, it's so refreshing. Give me a hot summer's day. I know, ah. isn't it? They're strong as well. Like, they're yeah. not fucking around. They are really actually strong. I wasn't expecting it to be so strong. It tastes like a super split. This is a dangerously drinkable drink. Hand mixed and bottled in Dublin 7. Made by bartenders, not by pretenders. Very there good. You go. yeah. I feel like I'm a pretender. I can't taste the vanilla, though. Can you? Not really. It's not the prominent flavor. Probably, if anything, it brings out the flavor of the porn, the porn more. <laughs> oh, the oh, porn this is tastes strong like porn. in this one. There's some cocktail ingredients that some stuff goes into cocktails and you just wouldn't have it in the house or if it was in the house, you'd use it once for the cocktails and the rest would just sit there. Yeah. You know, so it's nice to have the pre-mixed stuff that you could just like bang into a glass and be like, that's no waste, that's no fuss. Yeah. Just that, that's all I need. This is a 10 out of 10 cocktail would for me. Would you order a porn star when you're out and about? Um, would you be like, that's a girl drink? No, no, she's not. I don't give a shit about it. Girl, girl drinks and boy drinks, uh, fuck off, doesn't matter. If, if you're that threatened by a gender This is what I say! A drink, if a fucking long stemmed glass, grow. it makes you feel fragile. If it's that fragile to begin with, yeah. then... Yeah. Have you seen the TikTok between Channing Tatum and Adam Driver? And they're like, are you a beer of cocktails? And he's like, like cocktails. cocktails. And it's just <laughs> yeah. so hot. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw this on a menu on a night out, I would 100% order it because it's great. What is this color? Um, um, Dirty dishwater. It's an old fashioned. An old fashioned. I could smell the I could smell the bourbon immediately. Ooh. Oh, I love bullet bourbon. Oh, it's bullet so bourbon. Good. That's a that's a fancy bourbon to include. So I believe this one's even stronger. Fuck me, it's 22.95%. Oh shit. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's exactly what we did with everyone's favorite whiskey cocktail. Made it to its classic recipe dating back nearly 200 years. There has never been a cocktail with such a fitting name, the old fashioned. Bullet bourbon, sugar, and bitters. Nothing more, nothing less. It's stunning, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was getting excited. It's really good, you need to try uh, okay, it. Okay, okay. Drink uh, it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I get oh. really pushy. Oh, that's, that's. It's really good. That's I just wanted you to be on the same level. I just, good, I'm not a fan of whiskey. It just does things to me that I just don't like. This channel has given me a much greater like appreciation of whiskey. I really appreciate that flavor. It's like it's like if you took the the, the kick of a, of a good bourbon 
and just like mellowed it out. 1862. I know it's wild, isn't it? So when they say old fashioned, they oh mean God. in the old fashioned style. So in 1862, people were asking for cocktails in the old fashioned style, which was when they started to get their sugary syrups and things. People were going, no, give me the old one, which was just whiskey, bitters, sugar. And honestly, were they wrong? I feel like, you know, when I drink whiskey, it kind of like violates me from the inside or something like that. Like I get like a few like dirty shivers going down. I'm like, oh no. It makes me feel sophisticated, which I'm like, oh, no. I'm not sophisticated. No, no. I am the least sophisticated person. Like these actually are great for events. Like if you're that having a wedding or a party. Event, yeah. yeah. So you don't need like qualified mixologists. So these guys are putting cocktail makers out of business. This is another testament to them is you would never normally think to have like a pre-mixed old fashioned. Mm. Like pre-mixed in your head is actually, like the Actually the two ones. words are such a dichotomy. It yeah. actually makes me yeah. sick to think of a pre-mixed old fashioned. But this is literally somebody making it as if they were making a flask of it. If it ain't broke, broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. it. Yeah, mighty. You. This yeah. really sounds like um, fucking infomercial. It does. The fact that it you does. can get <laughs> It's crazy! But Niall, Niall, oh. this baby sells itself. This baby does sell itself! It is a 10 out of 10. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, it's margarita. It's... Tommy's margarita! Are you a fan of margaritas? No. Tequila is one of those drinks that I drink a lot. I think everyone's got a drink that they've overdone with once and now they just cannot stand it. Don Julio Tequila Blanca, lime and agave. Lovely. Agave is really nice. Oh, that's salty. Oh my god, that oh. is strong, but tasty. My favorite thing to do is go to a Mexican restaurant mm. and see how good their um, margaritas are. And this, this is spectacular. Using Don Julio Blanco tequila sweetened with agave nectar. Ooh. This makes for a truly Mexican drinking affair. Pour over ice for best results, based on a cocktail created by Tommy's Bar, San Francisco. Oh, cool. That's fun. Oh my God. Salt Mexico. Bay had his way with this. There is salt in it, right? Oh yeah, margarita salt. Salt, like put a bit of salt on the rim, then you got the perfect margarita. It's really fruity. It's really delicious. That lime has got like, mm, I'm not sure what the agave is doing. Yeah. But a great tang of lime. Uh, this is lovely. I love the salty bitterness to it. Honestly, I, think, I, I, think, I, think it works I really hope well. that they put salt in it. Oh. But I do think that sometimes our taste buds play on um, placebo effect as well. It does have a saltiness to it, but um, the proper way to have a margarita would be a salted rim. Yeah. Oh no, I hate that. I hate when people put salt on me rim. Like, put sugar on it because it's gonna taste way nicer. Maybe don't say salt on me rim. <laughs> <laughs> It was like, <laughs> on me, Rim? That's <laughs> what you said, though. There is almost a kind of saltiness in the background, but I I do love a salty Rim. Surely if they... <laughs> Don't you love a salty Rim, Niall? Love a good salty Rim. It probably lends itself better to the sweeter ones. Yeah. I think in Old Fashioned, because there's so few ingredients, just pour it in the glass and put your sugar and your bits in. So maybe don't buy the Old Fashioned one. You can if you want but I think these are better. They'd be, in terms of the product and how it works, I think it lends itself better to something like this. Because a lot of people don't have Cointreau, they don't have triple sec, and they're expensive. It's like 40 quid, it is like 40 quid for a bottle of Cointreau. Natural end. Okay, there we go. There we go. So <laughs> and another thing. Oh. It is. Uh, Whiskey sour! I literally said before this, how could they do a whiskey sour because it's got egg white in it? What do they have? They have bullet bourbon, lemon, orange, and bitters. So it's a bullet bourbon rock shandy, basically. It is the easiest cocktail to make. You could literally, the house could be burning down and you're like, quick whiskey sour? <laughs> Quick whiskey sour, honestly. This would be nice. Whiskey sour is much sweeter than an old then fashioned. Then the old fashioned. This yeah. one, you're, I'm gonna. There'd snap. be orange and lemon in this one. I think I like it. This is a very nice whiskey sour. I actually prefer it than a barmaid whiskey sour, uh, because sometimes I find that the egg yolk, sorry, not the egg yolk, the egg white, that foam, it gives you a horrible sticky sensation. Oh, at the oh back I don't of your like throat. that. Like a phlegmy kind of. Yes. Yeah. So good. You can you can genuinely taste the bullet. You can taste the bullet bourbon. <laughs> So good. I do like it better than the old fashioned. Oh, that's so well, good. Well, it's still the initial like, oh, taste. It's a great blend. It's a great balance of flavors. Um, it is alcohol. 
Uh, and I like drinking alcohol. Um, <coughs> I like drinking alcohol. Maybe you like drinking alcohol. That went down the wrong way. Ooh. But that's not uh, whiskey's fault. That's Niall's fault for drinking it wrong. We've tweaked the original recipe by using bullet bourbon blended with Rowan Co. Irish whiskey. Oh my God. I'd like to say I could taste it, but I absolutely can't. This is bourbon mixed with Irish whiskey. That's incredible. Yeah, I think this is a very close second to the porn star. The orange really just yeah brings it up that just a step above the margarita. Should I just become uh, a whiskey sour man instead of an old fashioned man? Am I a sour or am I an old? Which would you say? I'd say you're a sour. Mm -hmm. Some people have told me I'm a sour old man. <laughs> Sours give me like a tart sweetness. A porn star is like a tropical sweet. Yes. And yeah. then a sour is like a... Like a... Bitter and tart. A bitter and tart yeah. sweet. And it's <sighs> so, so good. They're a great after dinner cocktail. So yeah, I've had whiskey sours before. Oh, have I? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've gotten, I've had uh, some, I've had some crazy nights on a whiskey sour. Yeah. Nights I don't remember. I don't know how this is gonna look in the edit. I don't know what's included and what's not, but I need to say right now that these craft cocktails are fucking incredible. It's like, you know, some people are like, maybe they wanna go a bit Mrs. Doyle, maybe I like the misery. But <laughs> if you don't want the misery of making a cocktail, use those because they're fresh as fuck. What's that word? Great. No, um, convenience. Brilliant. I like that they were so convenient. They were all just in the one bottle, bada bing, bada boom. They're there made for go. us. Niall is expressing so much enthusiasm, I might have to kill him for being too enthusiastic. I cannot and express I agree with him. enough how good these craft cocktails are. Hello, lovely watchers of the Tri Channel. If you enjoyed seeing us try these crafty craft cocktails, uh, then do be sure to like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, press all. We upload Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And Kira, what do you want to say to the lovely viewers? Very good at that. Can I have a C, Carol? <laughs> <laughs> and a consonant and a vowel. I didn't even do that right. <laughs>